Artemis stands ready, ready to turn dreams into reality, ready to return humanity to the moon and take us further than ever before. The culmination of inspiration and innovation, of Herculean efforts and steadfast collaboration, Artemis I is ready for departure. And the Artemis generation is about to leave its mark. What will be a journey of more than a half a million miles to the moon and back starts right here at Launch Complex 39 Bravo. Yeah, when is this mission? This first flight will not carry a crew. It will test every system in the deep depths of space to prepare the way for future crewed missions. Wait, and the 29th when the of this month? Given, and the teams at Kennedy Space oh, Center release shit. this rocket, Artemis will roar to life, and we will witness the beginning of a tightly choreographed mission. All That's kind of sick, yo. Yeah, it's launching without people first. The first two and a half minutes lift Artemis off Earth and build momentum. It's another six minutes of pressing uphill, accelerating to orbit. This is followed by a push from the second stage to raise Orion higher. And once all the systems are cleared to continue, the second stage will fire again and push Orion beyond the bounds of Earth. At this point, we're going to the moon. It'll take several days to reach our destination, but as we sprint across the void, many new procedures and systems will be tested and proven. It's kind of awesome living through this time though. miles later, Orion will enter an oval-shaped orbit around the moon, one that will take Orion to about 60 miles above the lunar surface and then out to 40,000 miles beyond the moon. This is a distance farther than any human-rated spacecraft has ever gone before. Wait, when is it going to be uh, with people, astronauts? Are that when it's a uh, astronaut flight? Is it, are they actually going to land as on it? As momentous as reaching the moon will be, returning to Earth is just as significant and challenging. Twenty twenty-four. Every observation we make, every lesson we learn on this journey prepares the way for humans to safely venture out and return home. And so on its final lap around the moon, Orion will ignite its main engine, push out of lunar orbit, and begin the long trek home. That's fucking sick. This is a sick. spacecraft built for the harsh conditions of deep space, as well as intensity of returning home. Uh, yeah, where was this game at the game stop Earth, event? Orion separates from the main power and propulsion systems of the European service module and prepares for the final sequence of events. Entering Earth's atmosphere at 24,500 miles per hour, the heat shield endures the fury of re-entry. The air around Orion reaches temperatures half as hot as the sun, but also slows Orion considerably. Until finally, Parachutes can deploy, allowing Orion to gently dip into the Pacific Ocean. Um. To the moon and safely home again. This is the journey of Artemis One, and it will set the precedent for all that follows. So in 2024, though, are they going to land? United with partners around the world, this is the challenge we choose. To meet hand in hand, Step by step, they're just gonna slingshot the from around the, the moon. I thought the they were landing to Mars and beyond. We are ready. Step by step, SpaceX is building the rocket to land people. NASA is just building the rocket to just like slingshot around the moon and land with people. Oh, that would be kind of cool, man. All right. Okay, all right. It's kind of sick, actually. Their plan is to actually have people on the moon for at least one month. Oh, shit. Okay, it's just for selfies and they're coming back. Hey, yo, I don't doubt it, bro. Would you go? If it's safe, I would. I wonder how long it would take for that whole thing to happen. Is that like, when would it land from launch to, uh, finish? They will film the first live TikTok from space. They're picking the people up from the Apollo mission. Oh. 
fucking banned TikTok already? Nah, bro. I think TikTok is just too big. Like, that's not gonna happen. It's just, like, engulfed. It is absolutely just fucking an, a titan for social media, bro. Nah. Even though, like, they definitely spy on everything. TikTok makes people dumb. I, yeah, I mean, I mean there's, some, there's some stuff on TikTok that ain't that bad. I guess it depends. You know, it depends. Um, you can say that about every social media, though. You know? There's a lot of dumb shit. It's so easy to waste time on TikTok. Yeah, I mean, but also every app is a waste of time. You know, literally 99%, even gaming is a waste of time, technically. It's more about how you occupy your boredom. So you can't say that, man. Come on. And it depends on what you see as a waste of time. Technically, you know, being productive and learning shit is like not a waste of time. But it's it's how you define your time and what you like to apply shit to. I don't know, bro. Come on, man. You can't say shit about wasted time when we're 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 out here fucking doing Twitch stream shit. Like, come on, man. <laughs> come on, bro. <sighs> you're like the you're like you're like your parent who's like, stop playing games. You fucking, your brain's rotting. And then they are watching TV. And then and then your parents go back to watching TV. You're being that guy. You're being the parent, but for someone on TikTok right now. All right? See, it fucking all repeats itself. Everything just keeps repeating itself. Your, your parents wasting time. They just don't like how you're wasting time, even though they're wasting time, but no one's telling them they're wasting their time. Planet of Lana gameplay. Bruh, this better be fucking next gen. Like, holy fuck. Oh, yo, this game actually looks sick, dude. I forgot about this game. Shit loop! Oh, yeah, this game, remember when they revealed it? They have 18 minutes of gameplay. New Warzone season? <laughs> is this game like inside? Limbo? Tell me it is. Tell me this isn't like, uh, like Ori. And tell me it's more like physics based. If this is like inside a more intrigue, I hope it, I don't think it's a Metroidvania game. Oh yeah, okay, it, it is more limbo-y. Ori is good. I just, you know, no one's saying Ori is not good. I'm kind of in the mood for another Limbo Inside style game. I think this is going to be the next one. I don't know if there's, there's others coming out too. I know the Limbo devs working on that one sick ass looking game, but still under development. This has a cozy art style. Very, uh, easy on the eyes, you know?
I mean, definitely, uh... Hola. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Hola. I wonder how much more the game uh, changes, you know? I wonder if they're gonna make a Little Nightmares 3. I hope they do. I fucking love those type of games, man. So good. Like, a game like Little Nightmares seems way more involved. Cause like... This isn't like, this isn't a physics-based game. It's just like... Puzzles throughout. made a spider robot. There is a little Nightmares 3 coming. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, bro, I mean, shit, bro, I mean, you know, bro. I like how all my recommendeds are a guy working at McDonald's now. Nice.